Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Tortha, and we are about to do some killing in here. Now, you have many choices of where to kill in Guck, Upper Guck, <laughs> of course. But um, I'm going to show you one where you can not compromise your faction. And one where you can compromise your faction. It really just depends on what your plan is here. It is easier for me not to compromise my faction. Though in the same light, the camp that I'm talking about can kill you pretty easily. Because there's a chance that yellows will spawn. Very good pets. But if they break, well, that's not good. So what you want to do, especially if you're a dark elf is you want to play any illusion on other than the one that you currently have. Um, I am going to go with human, I think, just because it'll work fine. Also, I need to make sure that I put my charisma ring always back on my character before I start deciding to attack. That way I'm maximizing my charisma every time. So one of the things that I am really bad about doing is I'll put my uh, invis to animal ring on and forget that I've done that and I'm not getting my max charisma uh, chances, I guess you would call it. All right. Let's put soothe or is it uh, memorize? Okay. You cannot memorize a spell. You already have it memorized. Soothe is there. So what else would I want to have up? I'm going to keep gate up just for now, uh, and we'll change that if we have to. So once you have this, you'll see that for now, unless you've never, as long as you've never killed here, your faction with the frogs is good enough to be able to walk around without being attacked. So if you want to mess up your frog faction, uh, and we'll be doing this later on, uh, whenever I get high enough to be able to do the scryer camp, but for now, if you want to, you can just come over here. I believe some of these are blue, some of them are green, but the ones that are green here are going to be a green that gives you experience. Um, and if you do this already, you don't want to start where I just did. Come over here, you have uh, three spawn, you can break, you have some mobs here through here and all the way up to here this area if we come around here is uh, the necromancer spawn and he's always up i mean or at least he always spawns he doesn't drop anything that i know of but it is uh it's a good place to go the other thing you can do is um you can go up maybe a little bit more and clear this room but once you're getting into this area Moving into the next is where it's going to probably start to turn red. Like this mob here is the placeholder for the squire, I think it is. He drops the, the bone fork thing. So this one's a yellow. But yeah, you could probably kill all the way up to this room here and you'd be fine. That's a good amount of mobs. Uh, novices probably won't give you any experience. There's others that won't give you experience, but you will be able to get experience here. Sir, that's got a broken off there. Um, I don't know how names actually work. Like, I could probably go check if I can remember how to get there. Um, you don't go this way. Do you go this way? Oh, I'm really bad at this. You see, this just comes back down to the bottom section, which is accessible by coming up to here. So if we go up this ramp here, we'll be right at the beginning where we were. Also, don't fall down this hole. It's just it's, uh, a hindrance. But you can kill all of these, kill down to here as well. I think there's one or two mobs up. And then it, the levels go up a little bit once you get to here. So there's a tool warrior. 
Probably want to use this guy as a pet. Something that's almost yellow, but not exactly yellow. But you can also do the spiders and the crocodiles, depending, or not crocodiles, but the, is it crocodiles? The AC is a crocodile, but I think these might be alligators up here. I don't know. Uh, but they're a really good experience. All of them are blue. Spiders can be yellow. That's kind of why I try to do those. But in the same turn, they can kill you pretty easily if you mess up. Uh, you need to make sure that you're on top of it with uh, doing your AoE stun when they break. Root everything that your pet is fighting. That way you only have to deal with your pet when it breaks. But um, whatever you do, if you're doing this camp... Do not go into this room because this small bright here, this large uh, spider, he is ready to attack. And he's around level 20-ish to 25 and he will hurt you a lot. But if you can break this and do this, um, you will be able to do, um, get a lot of experience. Because you have two mobs in the first room, three mobs here, and two mobs in the last room. Some of these are going to be yellow. Like this one right here is usually yellow to me, even if I've killed that one before. And he seems to always spawn yellow. These are going to be blue. This one is going to be yellow, probably. Yeah, and this one will be blue. So I don't know why it spawns like that, but that, that is how it is. If you want to get around it, you can try to just lull these yellows. And use just the blues to kill blues. Um, because once you have a yellow pet, it just is a lot of work to maintain. So I'm going to just do uh, probably one or two mobs and then I'll probably head out. Also, over here is a three spawn that you may be able to do. The crocodiles in here, they're also all blue. So it's just a really good place for you to to come and camp as an enchanter. I'm going to try to lull that guy. Let me see. Or not. Yeah, lull him. I'm going to mez this guy. There we go. He charm did not. Charm has already worn off. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a fun pet. So once he breaks, I'm going to go ahead and have him attack. And I'm rooting the mob that he's fighting. So the way I have this set up is at the bottom left, that is the damage that I'm doing. That also is where you see that it was casted on the mob. But in the top center, that's where everything wears out off. So that way I have an idea of what's going on during the fights. Also a nice thing about this is that my pet is actually taking damage. I'm going to have my pet guard. There we go. Can get some good gems off of these too. I think every one of these has had um, maybe a gem or something else on it. Also, I don't know if this affects anything. But I would make sure that you stand behind a wall whenever you're lulling. I don't know if this uh, has a ch uh, lowers the chance that you will have a critical failure. But it seems to work a whole lot better than... If I was to be standing out there. See both of those worked. That's That could be a string of luck. Root him. Now we're going to flip flop these in just a second. I'm going to target myself.
Okay, let's go ahead and charm him. No? Root. And I'm gonna have him, I guess my root is lasting a long time on him. We're gonna take gate out and I'm gonna put in a dot. And wait for that dot to come up. Then I'm gonna break the pet, root it, and dot it. Okay, self. Root it. And dd dot. All right, there we go. It's that simple. Get some um, silk here. If you want to switch out one of your bags for a tailoring kit, like a large tailoring kit, you can do that. Work on that. But honestly, I'm probably going to sell it. Though I really do need to get my um, my tailoring up. I I'm planning to do all the questing or all the crafting on this character. Because later on, I'm going to have to have it for doing the Shaw, which is a plan, um, as well as other quests, like the um, uh, ring as well, the Coldane ring. Alright, so that was pretty simple. I'm going to do one more cycle. I'm going to do the, the yellow spider on the small spider, and instead of uh, expecting that I'm going to be able to kill him... <laughs> I am going to put up a uh, membler. All right, wish me luck. I'm just gonna straight up charm. I'm not gonna um, just uh, uh, discharm them or whatever you call it. I'm not going to tash them. And this is pretty decent experience. It's not bad. I've died twice, but I've gained more experience than I've lost. One thing I wanted to talk about that. Uh, enchanters die a lot. When you when you make the character, you need to understand that that's a thing. Uh, if you talk to a friend of mine, Shariki, he will tell you that he had died a ton of times while he was leveling up. And he's still not 60 yet. I remember a day where he died at least five times during that day. And um, I think he was able to get a res for all of them. I think he's eaten um, corpses. Maybe not on purpose, <laughs> but it has happened before. All right, we're going to break this. Mez it. Membler it. And I'm going to just get out of here. Grab these. Alright, and that's that's Guck. I mean, this is a camp that you can do. It's rather simple. I am going to stay here just to make sure that he did not... Um, that he is going back that the mem wipe worked. There it goes. Alright, guys. I will meet you in the next location. Alright, so the next place that we're going here is we're going over to unrest and the reason that i'm starting here is because i wanted to show you how i get there now this may not work out for me i did go ahead and bind at the druid ring and butcher block because i do plan to uh, show you this area and if i like it i may bind at unrest but for now i'm bound at the druid ring because i still have a few other places i want to show you but the reason I'm doing this is because there are two ways that you can get to unrest. One is you can follow the wall all the way around, hope that nothing sees you with invis on, and the fact that there is also undead mobs in the zone. Or you can try to skip a lot of it. Now again, these undead mobs that I mentioned, they do uh, swim through the water, so they could be anywhere. That said, uh, the middle island, or the only island within this area, uh, if you go to it, 
you follow the rim around. I'm just looking around for any undead just so that we can be careful. I think uh, you could even kill in here if you wanted to. But like the undertow. Yeah, he's blue. All right. Either way, we're going to go out to this island here. I have really bad swimming skills, so he may catch up to me. Kind of want to keep him targeted, just in case. Actually, it's better if I don't, because I can mez whatever is attacking me. I don't know if there's any animals in the water. So, we'll just have to be careful about <laughs> that as well. We'll see. If I feel like I have to gate, I will gate. But the reason I come to this island... The heck is that? A shoal serpent. Oh, okay. Uh, the reason I come to this island is because it negates a lot of the running. Uh, though I would suggest that you have higher swimming <laughs> if you're going to do this. But at level 16, I believe we get levitate as well. And that will make this a whole lot easier. You just need to make sure that you keep um, bat wings on you. There's a merchant in East Commons that you can go to, and they will uh, sell them uh, to you for stacks. Or you can buy the stacks. Oh, hello. Is that named? I have no clue who that is. I've never seen him before. If you see him and you can tell me what he's for, that's cool. So the best way that I know is that there is this. Just look for that camp right there. And then you come around just a little bit more, um, go around this pillar, and there's this little jaunt right here. I guess it's a jaunt, I guess you call it. I don't know what you call it. Anyway, this is how you know that you're over Kedge. Kedge is like right in this area, so you can swim straight across from here. And I'll just show you Kedge. This is just how I've been to Kedge a lot lately on my wizard. This is just the way that I know to get there. Actually, I'm probably going to drown before I get there. <laughs> Let's get that. Let's bring that over here. For safeties. Actually, probably want to move it over a little bit more. Okay. Let's get back underwater. <laughs> it's just so I can move this thing now. Move it there. I think that'll work. Lock it. Uh, but yeah, that's how I get here. It's the same way I leave, too, is because whenever you're going the opposite way, you'll see the little uh, tent area where the what are the high uh, the high elf, the dwarf, and I think a gnome or something else is there, and they fight all the things that end up coming up to them, and they die. <laughs> I think they die a lot. But either way, unrest, this is how we get here. Well, I'm going to get inside and I'll show you the camp that I usually do. All right, so here we are inside of unrest. Ooh, that is a very uh, high level uh, mob. That actually drops a bracer that is for the Lambent armor, the Lambent bracer. You need that as well as a Griffon feather, I believe, or charm uh, to be able to, to do it. So, as you'll see, there are these little death beetles. Those are blue to us. You can kill them here. I wouldn't suggest that because of mobs like that or trains that are happening in this area. But uh, these things, they are very social. <laughs> but what I do is I come around here all the way to this kind of area and then I decide what kind of pet I want to go with. Jack Lantern is one. You can also go with the zombies. Don't know. Um, let me see. What is that mob over there? That skeleton. It's a greater skeleton, so I guess I could use that as well. But no matter what I am going to pull as a pet. And <laughs> wow, there are a lot of mobs here. <clears throat> Alright, so I gotta be careful. No matter whatever I make as a pet, I'm going to have to deal with some sort of animal or mob uh, coming after me. So I'm going to just start lulling some things. I think I'm going to try to grab this Tormented Dead real quick. 
I attach them. And you can see that I already have a beetle coming after me. And I'm going to charm him. Um, that's a bad thing. I have no clue where that beetle went. There he is. Okay. I'm going to root him. Uh, as always, we root. And just let our pet do what he does. And this is a really good camp as well. You can level faster here because there is a modifier. Uh, the mobs in this whole area are blue. You just have to make sure that you understand that there are they are going to add unless you lull, pull everything. Uh, but you should be able to manage it. You should be able to do pretty well out here. Just make sure how things are pathing. Like this tormented that's walking towards me. He is probably going to be my next target. Though he still has a jack-o'-lantern that's pretty close to him. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. Let me try to get this jack-o'-lantern. Let's get the pet on him. And while we're doing that, we're going to check to see what dropped. I have no clue if that's good loot. Also, I may not root him yet. I'm going to decide, depending on how much damage he does to my pet. Okay, he is coming up to even with my pet. So I'm going to root him. Okay, actually I'm gonna interfere here for a second. I am going to pick up the jack-o'-lantern as my pet. And I'm going to let the jack o -lantern fish finish him off. There we go. We got experience for that. Uh, that's kind of what I was hoping for, actually. Let's go ahead and root him. And I'm going to change out that for a direct damage. There we go. And we should be able to kill him as well. So you just have to mitigate. It's it's pretty much the same thing in every camp that you're gonna do. These are this is the cycle that you're gonna to have to maintain. Um for those of you who don't have the ring that I'm using, which is a very expensive ring, you can just use invis. Uh, if you are a dark elf specifically, you can use hide. And I also have to say that there are going to be camps that I'm going to do that I, you shouldn't do. Because of the fact that I'm a dark elf, I'm going to be doing things that are not proactive to people who are not evil. <laughs> I, I was trying to figure out how I was going to say that. But yeah, now that I, uh, I have that taken care of, I'm pretty safe here. I don't think any mob roams all the way over to this area. So I have time to go ahead and med, and that's what I'm going to do. I shall be right back. One thing I'm really liking about the Enchanter is just how versatile they are. With grouping with an Enchanter, I have gotten to see a lot of what they can do. Um, it really takes a lot of practice to do some of the things that they do, and I definitely respect the class. The people that are learning the class... There are things that I've seen happen that are aggravating because of the fact that they seem like they're common sense kind of things. And not everybody is made to be an enchanter. That's why there are other classes in the game. That said, I have been thinking about if they end up bringing out, I think it's going to be called the green server at some point. This is after all the updates have been added to the game, all the patches have been patched, and they bring out a new version of the game where it starts at ground zero, meaning that 
level 1 to 50, I think it is, or 55, whatever the original level was. Then go on to Kunark after a certain period of time, and then finally Vilia. So pretty much, essentially, a full restart of the server. With <laughs> the um, what I was trying to say there, I'm trying to make sure that I pay attention to my pet's health, is that when that does happen, I want to make sure that... Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick up the death beetle as a pet. And whoever... Oh. I shouldn't even mess him. But I am. I'm going I'm going to. Um I I plan to, whenever that server comes out, to choose and pick one character to level to 60. That's the only character I'm gonna play until I'm 60, so that I can make sure that wow, this thing is okay, I'm gonna just Let's kill it. Oh, that was a waste. Okay. That could have gone <laughs> much worse. But yeah, I, I don't know what class that's going to be yet. It's probably going to be something that is rather easy. Oh my goodness. Um, let me see if I can get a target on one of those. Yep, that failed. Again, this is a safe spot, so it should not be attacked. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking maybe either a warrior, a shaman, an enchanter. But whatever I choose, it's going to be something I'm going to stay with all the way up to, to 60. I am not going to make any ults between the, the time that the... Um, like between changes so once i get to the max level i'm going to concentrate on doing as many raids as i can to get my character decked out for that content whenever the next expansion comes out the first thing i'm going to try to do is get a vp key and then be ready whenever my guild is ready to move on to that and just essentially grow with the server something that i didn't get a chance to do with this one because I didn't know about the server until many years after it came out. I've been playing for about two to three years and really wish I could experience that level one character on a server that is brand new, crisp and clean and just go for it. So that is my plan. Hopefully I'll have uh, friends that are going to be joining me. Hopefully, I'll be able to get into an in-game guild, uh, but those are things that are potentially a year or two away or more. I mean, the server doesn't run on a on a constant understanding of time. <laughs> it works whenever it, it, or not so much works, it changes as need be changed. As they have buttoned things up, as things have gotten clean and crisp and clear, that's when things change on the server. And I, I think that's great. So I don't expect that that server will be coming out anytime soon, but Enchanter is really high on my list. I am really enjoying it. That said, I don't know where I'm going to be at whenever this character gets into their 50s, as far as my mindset on it. But I have played a lot of classes up to 50. I'm hoping that this is one of those classes that I feel needs to be 60. Because it's taken me a long time to even get Drachmir to 60. Um, I have behind him flip sides, then Fever, then Malagdori, then Orgul. All of those characters are 50 and Chords. My very first character on the server is now about to become level 50. So it's, it's kind of one of those things. I, I need to get out of that, especially when the next server comes out. I need to concentrate on a character and just deal with it. 
So, um, yeah. I don't know why I brought that up in this video. Just thought I'd bring it up. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to the last location. And I'll, again, make that a surprise. So, I'll see you there. Welcome to Field of Bones. Yes, we are going to be doing Kern's Tower. This is another really, really good spot. It has the highest Zims, if not the highest, or has almost, if not the highest Zims in the game, which means that you will get more experience here than any other zone. Also, there's a really good safe spot that you can pull to, that you can med, and really the only way that you would die there is if someone died next to you and uh, you don't have any ability to control it. You can see here that there is a shaman. He's red to me. Okay, so here we are in the zone. Uh, Kerns, sorry. And we're going to first show you the safe spot. This is where you're going to rest after you've used most of your mana. You just want to hug over here. There's a pretty good distance. There's mobs that spawn here, but there are a lot of people in here at the moment. But you come through this, um, this hidden wall, I guess is what you call it. And what I usually do is, while you can sit in here and you're fine, if people are pulling to here, I usually will just stand right behind this pillar here. This way, I don't usually get seen by the mobs and it seems to work fine for me one thing you'll need to do though is for this location you're going to have to move and kill it's one of those things that's kind of hard as an enchanter you do use pets so you probably want to uh, do that so we're going to go upstairs just because of the mobs higher usually let's charm this guy And we'll go ahead and have him attack this guy down here. Or maybe he was the guy down there. There's also a little side room here. Just want to be careful. There we go. Again, as always, uh, I am sorry if I keep saying the same things over and over again. Make sure that you root the mob that your pet's taking. That way you don't have to worry about taking care of both of them. But there are roamers. And there's a room back here that if you want to only camp it, you can do that as well. There's three spawns in that room. Let's change mist to a DDE or something. Kind of wanting him to hurt my pet just so that I can kill both of them. They're pretty much even. So I'm going to dot him now. And then I am going to target myself. And I am going to dot him. And I don't even need to waste the mana to root him. So what's good here is you can get bone chips really fast. You can sell them for 10 plat a stack. And uh, you can keep coming back and getting them. A lot of people will stay here for a while until they have... Uh, oh, hello. It's, are you... Okay. Actually, I might just get rid of him. He's a green... go this way actually are you spinning you are not spinning no blur just gotta watch for things uh one way that you know if charm it's or mez itself has worked as a mimbler is if 
is if they start spinning. If not, just go ahead and memblur it. It's just a little bit more mana. But we're going to go up and try to get some harder mobs, I think. Try to get some yellows. Yeah, get some good experience. Or die, die trying to get good experience. Hello. I'm going to try to slide around you. And uh, you are the bane of my existence. Freaking... I mean, it's not that I won't get experience off of this. I will. It's just wasting mana. Let me sit here for a second. Are these guys not? Okay, this one. All right, I guess I'm going to have to pet them. I guess. Yeah, I don't know why they're not, uh, why it's not working. But at least these guys suck and they're easy to kill. I do have Soothe up. Let me go ahead and hit him with a Soothe. Let's get that back on the bar. Uh, soothe. Hit. Hit. Oh, you... You guys. All right. Did I get the other grader? I did charm him. And I can't even slow any of these mobs. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to deal with it. Alright, attack him. It's either it's either 50 mana on a dot or 50 mana on a slow. And I'm hoping that, that the dot slash DD is fast enough. That it's fast enough that... The pet doesn't die before he dies. That way I can kill both of them at the same time. And then up here you can see Root has broken. So I need to go ahead and hit him with the Root again. Uh, choke has uh, fallen. And I'm going to come over here. And let him kill. There we go. Come on. And let's get this on him. I mean, I'm mitigating pretty good seeing that my boss fell on my way up here. Or maybe I didn't rebuff before I came. Alright, we're going to get into a melee brawl. You're going to die! <laughs> You're going down. There we go. So yeah, I mean, I've shown you three locations. These are only a few. I would also say that you could do... Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other places. If you're not evil... Uh, like I am, you could do crush bone. I just personally uh, do not kill anything that has to deal with dark elves. Is this also strong? Uh, one look like I have no clue. Anyway, that is it. So I'm just gonna come back over here. 
fall down and go into my little cubby and med and heal back up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or didn't like this format, let me know. I know I uh, only got about 50% into level from uh, last time. I Last time I was 13, almost 14. This time I'm 14, halfway to 15. Next video hopefully will be 15, halfway to 16, or we'll get 16 next level, or next video. I'm going to continue experience off of these videos because I really do want to get to that next set of spells. That's when I get haste. Do I even dare put that on my pet? Also, uh, should I even start grouping? What do you guys think? Do you want me to only do solo videos? Because I don't mind doing that. Solo slash duo. There are some really good groups though that you can do as an enchanter. That's whenever you get into your own and become crowd control specific that kind of thing. Just let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you in the next video. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.